Welcome back everyone to another frame rated video. Today I want to talk about the leaks and rumors and what we know so far about the RTX 5080 GPU. Uh, before I begin, just remember that these are rumors, nothing is concrete yet, so until Nvidia has fully revealed everything, take all this information with a grain of salt. However, I love talking tech, I get excited for these things, so I enjoy talking about it on the internet with those of you who are also excited. But just remember, take it all with a grain of salt, because until NVIDIA does reveal something, there's nothing concrete about this. But in the past, rumors have had some truth to them, especially from awesome sources. And over the last six months, there's been a lot that's been revealed. So let's go ahead and dive into it. But before I begin, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. That way you can catch my future Tech Talk videos, rumors, leaks, updates, you name it. I talk everything tech on this channel. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button. That way YouTube will actually show it to other people who may enjoy it as well. I appreciate all your support. And now let's just dive right into this. And one final disclaimer, I am getting over from being sick. So if I sound a little weird or if I'm spotty in this video, that is why I finally just got the strength to make content again. So bear with me as we move along. Now let's just dive right into it. Now again, NVIDIA hasn't officially confirmed anything, but leaks are suggesting a serious power upgrade compared to the 4080 with this next generation 5080 series GPU. Rumor has it that the RTX 5080 will pack a whopping 1600 CUDA cores, nearly 30% jump from its predecessor. And for VRAM, the latest leaks are pointing towards 24 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory. That's a significant upgrade and should be a game changer for 4K gaming and maybe even introduce 8K gaming as well and will be phenomenal for creators dealing with heavy workloads as well. Now, power consumption is one of the main concerns with this boost in pure hardware performance, as well as price, but we'll get into that later. As far as power goes, early reports are suggesting the 5080 might require upwards of 450 watts. So a lot of folks are going to have to upgrade their power supply units if they prefer a 50% efficiency, like myself. Some people are going to cut it close, but with a card pulling this much power, especially depending on the other components you have, I'd be pretty careful with that one. But that is a big jump in wattage for the same generation GPU moving forward. We also can expect ray tracing and AI enhancements with the third generation ray tracing cores and more advanced DLSS technology, probably DLSS 4.0. It is promising that we'll see even more ray traced games with higher frame rates between the two technologies. And now all this sounds exciting, but keep in mind again, these are all just leaks for now. It could be a little bit weaker than this. I doubt stronger, especially for the rumored price, but that's what we're looking at and rumored to have so far in terms of specs. Now, with all that being said, let's just just jump right into what we're all anxious about the price nvidia has had a trend of increasing prices with every generation and what's going on in the world does not help with inflation and all that fun stuff we won't get into that however there's a lot of reasons why the cost of gpus for the same tiers as previous generations keeps going up and because the RTX 5080 is shaping up to be an absolute powerhouse, we can expect that it's going to cost some money. And yes, it is. Early rumors are putting the price at around $1,000 to $1,200. Yes, you heard that right. It's going to be expensive. That's in line with the RTX 4080's launch price, but could climb higher if performance gains are as massive as leaks suggest, especially knowing NVIDIA. Of course, there will likely be different models, such as a Founder's Edition, which is likely to be the cheapest, and third-party variants, which are likely to be more, which could push prices even higher, especially in aftermarket. But something to keep in mind that going for an 80 series card is no longer seven or $800 like it used to be in the past. And oh God, I remember the days where those equivalent cards used to be three or 400 times have changed inflation all that fun stuff again we won't get into that now when can we get our hands on this beast of a gpu well if nvidia sticks to the usual schedule we might see the rtx 5080 hit shelves within the next few months here at the end of 2024 if there's any delays of any kind then obviously that pushes back to early 2025 amd is rumored to hit early 2025 nvidia seems likely to continue with its route of just at the end of the year likely either later this month with a reveal and a november release date that's what we've seen in the past who knows but that's the rumor we could actually have more information and official reveals on this thing sooner rather than later so definitely keep your eyes out for any of those reveals now ultimately should you wait for it is the rtx 5080 worth it and should you even hold off on buying a gpu right now and wait for the 50 series cards well that really depends 
If you're someone who needs the latest and the greatest and can't wait to see the next gen gaming looks like with the 5080, then yeah, it's probably worth waiting a little longer and grabbing that card, especially if money is no object. But for most gamers, especially those with a 4080 currently, or even a 4070 or 4070 Ti, those are insanely powerful cards and can still handle anything you throw at them today at 1080 or 1440p, thanks to the technologies such as DLSS. Now there's a lot of games out there that even the most expensive GPUs out there without DLSS with ray tracing on you're not getting the type of performance you would expect that's unfortunately the direction we're going but with dlss technology a lot of these gpus that have been expensive over the last generation are going to last a while because as graphics technology evolves not only do they have pure brute force hardware to try to handle it but dlss can be used and more aggressively at that as it gets harder and harder for them to handle so the 40 series cards have some future proofing in the sense of using dlss technology now whether you like ai upscaling or don't like ai upscaling i guess it would determine if you know if you essentially do not ever want to use dlss then obviously you need to get the next generation best performing gpu because that's the only way you're going to keep up with graphics technology and seemingly unoptimization from developers to get the best performance and quality out of these games. However, if you don't mind using DLSS and AI upscaling, you could get away with a mid-tier high-end 40 series card for a while. It may not even upgrade until the 60 or 70 series come out because of that technology. Likewise for the 5080, it kind of leapfrogs in that sense thanks to DLSS. That AI upscaling, especially as it improves, definitely really has helped with the issue of graphics and developer laziness <laughs> advancing further beyond what the hardware is able to handle that NVIDIA and AMD is putting out. But that might be a topic for a completely different video. Me, personally, I just upgraded to the 4070 over the last six months after upgrading to 1440p. And after getting a completely new PC rig with much more RAM, a way better and modern processor with the 9700X, my games are running flawlessly. There's no game I can run at over 60 frames per second, even with ray tracing on at 1440p, especially with DLSS. There's some games like Arcs Revel Ascended, Cyberpunk 2077, that if I have them maxed out, especially with ray tracing set to psycho, like in Cyberpunk or Path Tracing, DLSS is absolutely necessary to still get 60 plus frames per second at 1440p, at least consistently. There's areas where you will get above that. And thus, people like me with a 4070 who don't need the latest and the greatest, who just dropped a good chunk of change on these cards over the last year probably aren't going to need to get a 50 series card anytime soon and will likely wait until the 60 series but again if you really really want these new gpus and you have to have the best or refuse to use ai upscaling for whatever reason obviously you're going to need to fork over the money to get that technology to get that hardware strength to move on to the next generation but that's all i really wanted to deep dive in today's video on today's rumored specs release day and pricing for the nvidia rtx 5080 but i want to know what you guys think are you excited to see what this card can do are you planning to grab this card or are you going to stick to your current gpu for a while let me know down in the comments below what you think about the new gpus and what you're going to do in the next generation and remember to subscribe hit that notification bell and stay tuned for more tech breakdown i'll catch you all in the next one peace